Hello students, it's Dr. Sansom. I have some sample data from experiment four and I wanted to show you how we would use this data to do the Q test and decide if we have any outliers and then ultimately calculate the rate constant. So we've got data here for run A, run B, run C and the data right now are not sorted. So I'm going to click on the data that I want to sort and I'm going to come up here to data and I'm going to click on sort and I'm going to say continue with the current selection and then say sort. My list does not have headers it's just column A and I want it to be from smallest to largest so I say okay and now they uh, the program has adjusted it so that they are from smallest to largest I'm going to do the same thing for the other columns as well. Okay, now that everything is sorted, I'm going to check the formulas. I'm only going to focus on the first and the last point in each of these groups um, because the Q test really only works for extreme values, which means either the smallest or the largest. So when I click on this cell up in the bar at the top, it will display the formula. So right now, this is taking A11 minus A10, and then it's dividing by the range A24 to A10. I need to adjust that because I only have values here until A18. So I'm going to turn this into 18. And... Uh, now check my value. So my value here is 0.143. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. If I come and look at nine, the 90% 90 confidence level is 0.437. So right now, this top point here is not an outlier because the value that I calculated is smaller than the value that's in the table. I'm gonna come down here to the bottom point now and I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, I have to adjust this one though because it's doing 19 minus 18 and I need 17 minus 18 because 17 is its nearest neighbor. And then I need to adjust the range as well so that it's only including points that we have there. And uh, the value that I get there is 0 0.361. So again, for nine points, 0 0.361 is below the cutoff um, that we would have to disqualify this and, and count it as an outlier. I'm going to repeat the same process for these other two columns. Again, just adjusting the range on this top one. And then on the bottom one, making it 17 and then 18 here. Um, again, both of these values are smaller than the cutoff value, so I'm not going to eliminate any of those. Uh, finally, we'll do these last uh, couple of columns, adjusting the top value and then adjusting the bottom value. Now this one is 0.437, this top point, which is exactly right at the cutoff. Um, we don't want to eliminate the point unless the value is actually above the cutoff. And so since this one is the same, I wouldn't eliminate the value, but for the purpose of demonstrating what you do, if you have one that's an outlier, I am gonna show you. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to just change this fill on this cell to red. You don't have to do that, but that's just my notation to myself that this one is probably an outlier. And the most important thing is that when we come down here to calculate the average, we're going to include only those points that are not the outliers. So instead of having E10, which is the one that's the outlier, we're going to start at E11 and continue through E18. So my average value is only for those points that are good down here at the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing here. I didn't eliminate any, but I do need to change the range for how it's calculating the average. And those are my average values. Now this is our first tab of the spreadsheet. We have another tab, which is the determination of the rate constant, which is very small at this moment. 
Um, so in here, we've already inputted this information uh, from the concentrations that we have uh, for our different reagents. And this is automatically importing those three values that you had for your average rates. The only thing that you have to do on here is calculate what's, what would this order be if we rounded it to the nearest whole number. In this example, we've got 1.08, which is close to 1, and 1.32, which is also close to 1. Um, this spreadsheet can help you if you are doing your calculations out. This one will have calculated the correct things, so you can compare your hand calculations to the spreadsheet to just know if you're on track.